got some time on my hands at the shop. Can you spot the, uh, just hung the snap on S's. Can you guys spot the, uh, the problem there? Just got down off of there and just noticed it now. But what's up guys? We're gonna kick off this video and finally hit you guys with the uh, five things that I love about the Snap-on Toolbox. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. So we'll get into this one. Um, it's actually the next day since I did that quick intro there. I still haven't gone up there and uh, flipped that sign over. But getting into this video, obviously standing on top of my toolbox, hanging those signs. You know, not that I forgot about you guys, but getting into these top five reasons why I love this Snap-on toolbox. You know, going through the obvious. You know, obviously it probably took me a longer to figure out you know, what I love about this box as opposed to what I don't like about it because obviously the, dis the dislikes I stick out. You know, I know what I don't like about this toolbox. But as far as the likes go, you know, I kind of wanted to get my head wrapped around it, get my thoughts about it. You know, obviously I, I like the box as a whole. I, 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 there's a lot of things, you know, more than five things I like about this box, but comparable to what? You know what I mean? I, I really haven't owned, you know, 100 boxes. You know, this is pretty much the only snap-on box I've ever owned coming off a crashing box, a few other little boxes I've owned, you know, I didn't really, you know, upgrade to, you know, classic master series and then epic series. I went straight for the epic series from a craftsman box. I'm sure you guys, but anyways, I think I showed pictures before the old craftsman stand-up boxes I've had, you know, I didn't really go through a lot. So as far as comparing this boxes, you know, I could compare it to, you know, other boxes that I've had, techs I've had in here or, you know, boxes that I've worked with guys that I've seen and, you know, maybe open a drawer, got a tool out of, but as far as owning a box, you know, I wanted to get my head wrapped around it. Outside of the obvious, you know, obviously some of the main reasons I like this box is the size, the color, it's full, it's paid off. You know, that's easy stuff to love about this toolbox, but, you know, getting into the nitty gritty of it, you know, the things... I like about this toolbox as opposed to some of the other toolboxes I've seen or really even some of the epic toolboxes that they're making now, this one being an older version gets me to pretty much number one and number two things I do like about this toolbox which is the old style Rhino Line top. You know, before they were sending it out to Linex, I don't know who was, uh, you know, coating these they're not stainless steel, these are actually steel tops, you know, magnets do stick to them but they, they actually have the hard you know, it's, it's not like the skateboard sticker they have on these tops now with the lighting on it or the new style that Snap-on does in-house. You know, it, it looks cheesy to me. You know, I, I just, guys with air bubble, air pockets go up underneath it. It's pretty much just, you know, a roll-on tape, like grit paper just stuck on to a metal top. This one's actually painted on. It's rugged. You know, I know it is because soldering on this thing, dropping hot stuff on there, you know, it, it, it withstands it. You know, yes, it melts it, but it withstands it better. I definitely don't like, you know, the new style, the new top, top power tops they're putting on with that skateboard style, you know, grip tape, calling it a rhino line top or, you know, rugged top, whatever they call it. You know, I like the, the old school, the old school rhino line top. Um, like I said, I don't know if it was Rhino Line or Line X who was doing it for Snap On, but these are definitely a better version tops than the new ones they have now. All right, getting to number two, it's obviously the power drawer. I definitely there's although there's things I don't like about this power drawer, you know how fill, how quick it got filled up. At least for me, uh, I wish I had a, you know the power lockers and all that stuff, but they weren't really making them when I bought this box. This was pretty much what I got, you know, I got the power drawer, but that compared to like a little small drawer, like I got on these 60s, you know, the wider ones in the corner there, you know, I'd rather have a nice wide to where I could have, you know, rows of it. I got all my power tools in there. I got all the batteries in there. All the plugs are in there. You know, they seem to fit it pretty well. Some of the overspill, you know, I put on the top here, one is I use most often, some of the tools I use most often, but the batteries are still charging in there. I definitely like that power top more than you know, the smaller power tops they have. Now, I would rather have, a, you know, a power locker, maybe two or something like that, so I can have some runoff, maybe charge some batteries, some flashlights, things like that in there. I, do, I don't put air tools inside the power drawer, only battery power tools, but from what it is, it seems to hold up. I find myself, if I was opening a normal size power drawer, what would I like better? And it's the bigger drawer, the wider drawer. Getting into number three real quick too, the 84, 
you know, the big one, the, 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 the roll cart here, you guys know I got all the long drawers. You, these things are extra wide. I made sure when I ordered this box, that's definitely a big thing I love about this box. You know, the extra wide drawers, as opposed to, you know, having maybe one, two of the full width, and then having a divider, whether it's, you know, some of the medium sized long drawers and then the small drawers on the side, like I got on the 60 over here, but these extra wide drawers, you know, make it that much easier to put those longer tools in there. Uh, I do use the two over here for the longer pry bars, the longer extensions, you know, like that, fitting all the tools in one, you know, having all my sockets in one, all my screwdrivers, all my wrenches, not, you know, sockets, screwdrivers, wrenches, extensions, having a toolbox this size, I could dedicate, you know, whole drawers to just certain types of tools. So that's definitely something I like about it. When I was ordering it, you know, I wanted the extra long wide drawers on there all the way down, you know, no divider in there. So I could do for reasons like that. My main drawer would be the main hand tools that I use. And then as far as the smaller drawers would be some of the smaller drawers. Something I hate is, you know, having a drawer where you go to use it for whatever it is, certain type of tools, whether it's sockets or wrenches or something like that, and then the drawer's not high enough or it's not deep enough to fit you know, your whole collection of tools in there. Getting these extra wide drawers definitely makes a big difference. <clears throat> so getting into pretty much number four, um, number four is gonna be a couple things here. You know, probably five reasons in itself why I like it. You know, like I said in the beginning, the size, the color, you know, the strength, the versatility it, it has in it and all that stuff. But what I like about the color mainly, you know, it's black. It's also flat black. Uh, one of my personal favorites, not my favorite color, but you know, definitely one, uh, definitely one that looks good here in the shop. Definitely looks good. It suits me uh, for what it is. But I got the flat black and what's nice about this flat black guys is some of you guys out there that got these flat colors, you know, people be asking me, you know, how does it handle dirt? How does it handle fingerprints? How does it handle this and that? What, one thing I do notice on these ones compared to some of the gloss colored boxes and some of the other boxes is the fingernail scratches that you'll see right underneath the handles. You know, obviously having a box for a few years, reaching for it, whether you've got a tool in your hand or you have nails, things like that, the clear coat shows. It shows those scratches, whether the light scratches, even if you hit these things, some of those clear coated boxes, you know, those gloss boxes, you hit them with an abrasive rag, wiping them off, you know, you'll leave surface scratch on them. What I like about the flat color is it doesn't show that stuff. And I'll hit you guys with a close up, show you, you know, kind of what it looks like. You can see, you know, no fingernail scratches on any of the boxes. You know, I open these drawers daily, you know, compared to those gloss colored boxes and, and other colors that have a more of a shine to them, you can see more of the scratches. All right, and then getting into it, you know, the, the fifth thing, not necessarily I love about this snap-on box. It's one thing I love about my snap-on box, but epics in general, you know, and, and, and there's some dislike there, there's some likes there, but one thing I do like about this one is I'm forever growing. You know, obviously I'm getting tools all the time, switching tools around, things like that. And it's nice to know that whether I buy an add-on for it, you know, it may not match perfectly. Like if you guys check out the five things I dislike about this toolbox, you know, they do change certain things, maybe for the better, whatever it is. Like one I mentioned was the wheels, the power, the power drawer, the top, things like that. But you know, if I wanted to add another overhead, I can. If I wanted to add another locker, I can. Stretch it out, I could go as high as I want. And that's one thing I definitely love about the Epic is, you know, the versatility of it. You know, you could just, these Epic toolboxes grow with the tech. That's one reason why I bought into it. But, you know, whether it's just a small 60 inch cab, you know, row cab cart, whatever it is, you know, maybe with a workstation, maybe not, whatever it is, if it holds all your tools, that's perfect for you. And whether you want to or not, or as you grow as a tech, the toolbox can grow with you. So that way you don't have to keep trading in the toolbox and flipping over payments and trading it over or trying to sell it on Craigslist or whatever. Definitely one thing I like about the box, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, outside of, you know, it being paid off, it being totally packed full, chocked full with tools that, you know, that make me money every day. It, you know, it being the color that matches me, all that stuff. I, I could state it again, the strength of this box, I can't compare it to other boxes because it's not like I put them through the test, but I've seen them. You know, I'd probably say the strength of this box is gonna outweigh a lot of the other boxes I've owned, but that TV I have up there, when I hung that TV, guys, I had 
A Bobcat, that's a plasma, a 60 inch plasma, that TV's he heavy as hell. I had three grown men, adults up there, you know, standing on top of this toolbox hanging that TV. And that's about what it took. It took a Bobcat and three grown men, you know, one guy in it up there and then two men on each side getting that thing to hang on the hook, you know, that I mounted into the brick wall. So I know this box is going to hold the weight. I know it's going to support the weight. You know, I keep cramming tools in there as much as I can pack in there. And if I want to stack on another overhead or stretch it out a little further, I know the strength. The box is going to hold together forever and ever and ever. All right, guys, so I'm going to get this one wrapped up. You know, I could probably keep going. There's definitely more than five things I love about my Epic Toolbox. But, uh, you know, keep it short and sweet. You know, I keep on rambling on here. There's also probably more than five things I dislike about the toolbox. You know, the, the price, the cost of what they charge me for the box is obviously a big one. Um, but neither here nor there. Wanted to get a video out there for you guys. You guys remember, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll check you guys in the next one. Signing out.